Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you like looking for value in these markets, uh, typically it's in the commodity sector, that's where I'm seeing it. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for this content, leave questions and comments below if you guys have any anything, uh, any comments, leave them below. I'm gonna go over a gold and silver update and show you uh, what I'm seeing in the markets for gold and silver. I'm looking at the bigger picture items, so I, I charted out a lot of ETFs here. Uh, just to show you kind of what what we're up against and what's coming up in the short term so this is what i'm seeing in the markets for gold and silver this is technical analysis so i'm starting off with xau and what's awesome about this is we've got this this upper channel line and we're right there trying to break out uh, and if you look before this and this is where you get your cues is right before the run up we want to see big candlestick bodies we want to see big volume which we see big volume we see this nice kind of launching pad and then a bullish engulfing right here. And we're right trying to break out of this, this pattern. And I think we might. Uh, so this is one to watch, XAU, to see if we break to the upside. And when we break out of these big patterns, these psychological containment that exists uh, on the market is going to cease to exist. And we're going to see a big move to the upside. Uh, obviously, I think we're going to have to see gold and silver and the precious metals uh, follow along with it. But we're right there trying to break out to the upside. That's where we're at today. We've got uh, SIL. This is the Global X Silver Miners ETF. We're in this, we'll call it this, between these two channel lines. This was the downtrend line that we broke out before. And then we've got another downtrend line that it's creating that we're going to have to break out to the upside. But we're right in the middle of this channel right now. We've got a bullish engulfing here. It's looking pretty good. SILJ. Uh, it's very similar to, to SIL, almost the exact same thing. This this guy is more of a a topping pattern here, where we've got a trend. Uh, a, a, we'll call it not necessarily. Yeah, it's a trend line, but we have to break this resistance line. And then we have a trend line coming back through here that's below this. We'll call it congestion area. So we're still in the congestion area. We've got a bullish engulfing here. It's looking pretty good. Uh, we've got GDX here. Here's our downtrend line. We're still below the downtrend line. We've got nice big volume, not really volume, but the size of the candlestick body here, it's pretty large. Uh, and that's what we wanna see. We wanna see these candlestick bodies get larger and larger to show more momentum to the upside. We want the up candlestick bodies to dominate over here. If you look over here, there's a lot of down candlestick days, big body candlestick days that basically dominate on this side, we want to see the buyer step in and really start punching the big candlestick up days all throughout here, showing showing us saying, hey, look, we're here. We're going to blow this thing to the upside uh, and push it higher. And we're seeing that a little bit. It's it's starting to change right now. And you can see right here a lot of up, up candlesticks and they're getting bigger. This is GDXJ. We're all kind of in the same situation. We're, we're hugging below this these downtrend lines. We do have a bullish engulfing here. It's still sold off a little bit. So I think we have a good opportunity to try to break through here. Bullish engulfing, bullish engulfing, bigger candlestick updates starting to just peek their head through a little bit. So it's looking good. Uh, here's the gold bugs index. Nice big kind of run up here. We're running right at that line. We'll see if the downtrend line holds or if we break through very soon. This is Ely Gold. Looks like it's peeking. It's doing a little turtle head out, peeking out, uh, breaking through its downtrend line. So that's good. And a lot of the times it kind of breaks out. It may be, it might back test, and then we move on higher. And it may take some time. This isn't overnight things. Uh, looks like Sandstorm Gold. It did that. It broke out to the upside. It back tested right here for one day, and then we're moving on up. So that's looking good for Sandstorm Gold. Here's First Majestic Silver. We've got this, this resistance line. We broke to the upside, came back, and it looks like we're on this trend line right here, coming on up, moving higher. So it's looking very good. Nothing's broken here. Same with the XK. We've got this upward channel that we're developing. Looks like we're just moving on up in this upward channel. Looking good. And then we have Hecla Mining. It's, it's going to try to go and break this pattern here. So we'll see if we got enough momentum to break through this upper uh, resistance line. So we'll see. We, we've got some, some big moves to make this week. Uh, that's all I have for gold and silver. 
they're looking good. Uh, they still have some work to put in. We got to get this momentum to punch through these resistance lines. If they don't punch, we're going to be stuck in these channels for, for a bit longer. So that's that's what I'm seeing. Uh, some of them have broken through. Sandstorm Gold looks like Ely Gold. Um, the silver companies, EXK, AHG, A AG, HL, they, they're looking good. They look like they're, they're going up. So momentum's behind us on those. Let's hope it carries out throughout the entire sector. Uh, when the entire sector has momentum, these leaders will do much better and we'll see them kind of pull away. So if you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. If you want to get more of these updates, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.